Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Uh, we are back um, with another episode of Quick Hits. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. I would say it's the first of two episodes. We'll be back in a little bit, a couple hours to do a second episode. Not exactly sure uh, what I'm going to do the episode on. Still looking into that. <clears throat> but uh, today's going to be a great episode. Uh is Terrence Crawford ducking Virgil Ortiz? We're going to get into all of that. Uh, but before we do, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, share, like, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell icon, thumbs up, all that good stuff. All right, let's get into it. Because um, I'm into this episode. My boy, Virgil Ortiz, uh, called out Terrence Crawford. And Terrence Crawford doesn't seem to want it. Uh, Terrence Crawford told Ock and Barack that they're, they're, they're moving too fast. Um... Uh, that he should go fight, uh, I think, uh, okay, I'm going to read the quote to you. I just think, you know, they're trying to move him too fast, Crawford said, during a recent appearance on the Ock and Brock show. Um, I think, you know, he needs to take a couple more fights with different caliber fighters. You got to think, uh, Hooker only had one round at welterweight. He just moved up, you know? I mean, he, so he wasn't really a full welterweight. Well, let me stop right there. Crawford picked Hooker to win. Uh you know, I would like to see Virgil against, like, a mean machine. Somebody that can punch, you know what I mean? Somebody that's aggressive. Somebody that's going to push you back. All right. Like, all right, let me let me, let me me stop right there. There's, like, a lot of thoughts off the bat. What is Terrence Crawford, the matchmaker? Is he Virgil Ortiz's promoter? Is he De La Hoya? Is he Eric Gomez? Who cares who you want to see Virgil Ortiz fight? Virgil Ortiz is the future of the world's weight division. Uh, he just knocked out a former, destroyed another former world champion, and you're telling him who you think he should fight. How is that rolling? Look, this and I've been the biggest Terrence Crawford supporter for years now. Okay, I accused Pacquiao of ducking him. I said I don't think Spence wanted to fight with him, but this is getting this is over the top now. Okay. Um. We can say Crawford's not ducking everyone, but the evidence is starting to get overwhelming that he is. Okay. He won't... He, he, they won't make a real offer to Sean Porter. Okay. They offered him $1 million and $2 million to fight Sean Porter. So th that's a fight that they don't want. Then he said before the Virgil ortiz Maurice Hooker fight that that fight is going with uh, Errol Spence. That fight's not going to happen. So that fight's off the table. Um... Now he's saying, oh, Virgil Ortiz isn't ready. Then go knock him out then. Who is ready? Guys who were shot over the hill? So, so uh, Benavides was ready. Mean Machine was ready. But Virgil Ortiz isn't. I mean, this is so stupid. How is Benavides ready? But Virgil Ortiz wasn't. I mean, this is the stupidity that we get. This is Duck. Guys, look, he's ducking Sean Porter. He's ducking, um, he's openly ducked Sean Porter. And, and and it was excused as saying, oh, they were friends and they don't want to fight each other. Sean Porter said he'd fight him. Terrence Crawford ducked him. Terrence Crawford then ducked uh, Errol Spence for certain. He wants more than a 50-50 split. Errol Spence does 300 pay-per-view buys. You do 100,000. Okay, you're not getting a 50-50 split with a guy who does three times the amount of pay-per-view sales that you do. That's ridiculous. You're lucky if you get 40. I'm just being honest. Um, I don't care who ranks you number one pound for pound. You don't deserve, from what you've done, a 50-50 split with Errol Spence. That's just the numbers don't lie. Um, and, and now you're telling Virgil Ortiz who he ought to fight. You didn't tell Benavides who he ought to fight. Amir Khan gets knocked out by... You think Amir Khan could beat Virgil Ortiz? Really? You think Cal Brook could beat Virgil Ortiz? Really? 
So, I mean, this is all this is absolute nonsense right now. You should go and fight the mean machine. The mean machine gave you trouble. Okay, he can give Virgil Ortiz trouble, and I, I want to put this out, out right here now. And, and, and you can say this: I'm, I'm waving the Texas flag, and I'm being a homer. Okay, I'm picking Virgil Ortiz to be Terrence Crawford. I, 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 this has T.P. Lopez and Vasil Lomachenko written all over it. Uh, Crawford's in his third weight class. It's not his best weight class, and then you have this young stud, this young superstar who's different, who's not good. He's great. Who's not a future? Great fight, like he's a he's a future stud. He's a Hall of Famer. He's something special, and it's gonna be the wrong time for Terrence Crawford. I'm telling you right now, Virgil Ortiz beats Terrence Cor beats Terrence Crawford. Um, go fight the Mean Machine. Get out of here. I mean, who is he? He's Eric Gomez. All of a sudden, he's he not, now he's interested in progressing Virgil Ortiz's career. He's like, I need to get Virgil Ortiz a test. Like, if you don't think he's ready, the fans want to see it. Who do you think the fans want to see? See him, see you fight more. Virgil Ortiz or Jose Cito Lopez, who, you're, who, who your name has been rumored with. Who do you think the fans want to see you with more? This is so dumb and, and, and so ridiculous. Whenever you hear someone, a, a fighter, who doesn't have a fight lined up, saying, this fighter should go fight somebody else. He should go fight another. That's a duck. You're not his promoter. You're not his manager. You're not the matchmaker. Go fight him. If you don't want to fight, just say you're ducking him. And go fight Jose Cito Lopez, who first of all, he's probably beats the hell out of, uh, in sparring every day. Remember, they're in the same camp. This is just so ridiculous. Well, who is Terrence Crawford? To, oh, well, Terrence Crawford's great. And I, I've been a Terrence Crawford supporter for years. You can go back and listen to Mixed Combat Radio. You can listen to this show. I've been Terrence Crawford supporter. But this is over the top now. This is a, he should go fight the mean machine. He just destroyed a former world champ who you said would beat him. I mean, guys, you can't take this seriously with Terrence Crawford. Who's he going to fight next? So Benavides is ready. Kavalaskis is ready. But Virgil Ortiz isn't. I mean, it, it, it's so hypocritical and so stupid. But Sean Porter's not ready either. I mean, you know, and, and, you want, and, and you want better than a 50-50 split with a guy who does three times the amount of view buys this year. Guys. I've been Terrence Crawford's biggest fan. This is a duck. A everyone who said that in, in the past that Terrence Crawford is a duck, and I've criticized them and knocked them, I apologize. I tip my hat. Y'all were right. I was wrong. Terrence Crawford is a duck. Simple and plain. Simple and plain. Guys, find me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, like and subscribe. Quick hits. Remember, come at you twice a day, every day. We'll be back a little later, a couple hours, to do another show. This is the first show of the day. Uh, please share on all forms of social media. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, it is March 29th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. From Texas to the world, thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.